Hello indie game fans, it's been a while since we last took a look at fighting games, and while there are some huge ones on the horizon like King of Fighters 15, the long rumoured Street Fighter 6, and whatever else that Arxis is working on, indie developers continue to innovate in the space, so here are some fighting games that you should look forward to. Let's begin with Slash, a weapon fighter that will of course be familiar to fans of Bushido Blade or the indie game equivalent One Strike or Two Strikes. If you're not familiar, this is a one-hit kill title where every attack is deadly, so the tension that results because of this is palpable and heart-pounding. It's a three-button game where blocks and parries will be essential, with what looks to be different characters as well, which should control differently. Just a quick hit with Clash of the Metal, the hyper mecha anime manga fighter which has a great look where I want to know more about the details. I did cover Vivarion in my previous video on games in the genre but it's not out yet, where this 3D fighter did resurface during the Guerrilla Collective Indie Game Showcase in summer this year. I believe it's from a solo Japanese developer, which is cool since you don't get that many Japanese indies, so it's nice to see their vision realized in this game. Interestingly, there are PvE elements where you battle for the enemies with a PvP twist, so it might not qualify as a quote unquote fighting game per se, but the action looks great, making it one to watch. I just so happened to catch this announcement on Twitter where the Steam version of The Black Heart, currently in early access, is set to fully release later this month, just in time for spooky season. While the graphics are not the most impressive and only has 6 characters, this game stems back to 2009 and has somewhat of a cult following, making it of interest. I came across Suits of Fate while browsing Steam, where it's a fighting game inspired by 90s arcade classics like King of Fighters, Street Fighter and Guilty Gear, coming to us from Brazilian developers and looks excellent. It's a 4 button game with fantasy elements where a mysterious entity has granted several characters special powers with these manifesting in the forms such as Angel, Succubus and Scarecrow, resulting in an interesting variety of characters. Other than that, it's a 1v1 title with what looks to be some classic looking action looking like another awesome entry. The super simplified fighting game was an idea that I think was best executed by Rising Thunder, where special attacks are not done through complicated button presses or quarter circle motions, but rather bound to a single key, but since the developer was acquired by Riot and development cancelled, a number of other developers have ran with that idea, with Metal Revolution being the example here. Like Rising Thunder, this stars robots as the playable characters, and from the character select screen, does look rather similar to Overwatch, so no points for creativity here, but it does look well executed. Interestingly, it does appear that this game was released on mobile last month, so perhaps check it out there, but I'll be waiting for the PC version myself. Ah! 
one of the main reasons as to why I wanted to make this video is Five Force Fighters, a title whose Kickstarter campaign I missed showing off on the channel, but it was fully funded in August this year with a slated release in 2022. While this trailer shows off 5 characters, the full game does plan to have 8, with a complete story mode as well. From the trailer and campaign page, this is a fighting game as fighting game in that the passion and knowledge of this genre from the developer is clear, with a variety of mechanics in place that will please fans of the genre. For example, they talk about their combo system comprising of weaks, grabs, chargeables and force attacks where one type of move can chain into another and then talk about counters, dodges, dashes, running and something called the enforce burst rush mechanic, potential force and even super force sacrifice, all of which are quite technical which I can't really comment upon but I do hope it will turn out well for them. The art and animations are gorgeous as well so it's another title to wishlist. A fan favourite title that has been chugging along in development is Pocket Bravery, one of the most impressive pixel art entries with slightly chibi character proportions, being inspired by games like Pocket Fighter on the new Geo Pocket Color. It's a 4 button game with light and heavy punches and kicks, designed both to bring new players into the genre while having the skill ceiling and mastery that veterans will enjoy. I believe there have been limited play tests and demos of this game, where the feedback across the board have been very positive, looking to be the next great title in the space. If you love Smash Bros and indie games, Frame Makers will be the title to watch following a long lineage of indie platform fighters but does look to have the pedigree to be able to break through. One of the primary developers on this is Gregory McLeod, who's best known for his work on Super Smash Flash, essentially a fan game of Super Smash Bros. but with characters from all sorts of IPs, unofficially of course, which was very well received by the community, and has now set his sights on making his own, this time with indie game characters instead. Pixel art, animation and platform fighter action and mechanics look very impressive, where as an indie game fan, I'm excited to see who makes the cut for this game, whether as a full character or as an assist, but it has the potential to be one of the best in the space. One of the most classic looking 2D fighting games in development is Blazing Strike, getting a new trailer in August where they have signed with publisher Axis Games. Needless to say, I'm a big fan of the pixel art sprites and the very classic look, again like Suits of Fate covered above, does remind me very much of arcade classics from Capcom and SNK. A nice variety of characters with unique designs as well, with at least 14 shown off in the character select screen, so if you love fighting games, this will be one to watch for next year, taking the number one spot. For more fighting or brawler games, watch these videos and I will see you after the jungle.